Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's live show. This is the very, very lovely Jessica, and we are going to share with you today her very special journey um, with her third baby, who is only seven weeks old, who you might get the opportunity to meet today, um, but she's sleeping now, baby girl. Um, and, and we want to share with you the comparison of her three journeys and since she found the Thompson Method um, at the end of last year. So thank you so much, Jessica, and um, and do say hello to everyone. Hello. Thank you so Happy much. Happy to be here. Yes, it's a, it's a very special journey we're going to be sharing with you. We did actually find um, one of um, Jessica's stories that she um, posted on Dr. Robert's page to say thanks to the wonderful team in the club. And um, it's always a huge pleasure to um, to receive wonderful feedback and to share a journey with you ladies so that you um, can too feel reassured. Um, so I'm going to start first of all, Jessica, tell me a little bit about the challenges that you experienced previously um, with baby number one and then baby number two. All right. So with, with my first son, um, the biggest issue I think with him was that he was very sleepy and kind of a lazy eater. So just to nurse him, it was frustrating. It felt like he would nurse for like five minutes and fall asleep. And I had been told all the customary stuff, like get him naked and like slap him a little <laughs> bit and like all this stuff. And it was just like, it was frustrating. It wasn't working. Um, the hospital told me that I wasn't even going to be able to leave the hospital until he like ate a certain amount and they weren't happy. So they ended up giving me formula right out the gate. Uh, so I, I feel like I just, I wasn't very supported. So I pumped and combo fed for about six weeks until I just gave up and he was formula fed the rest of the time. Which is a huge accomplishment, as I said to you um, before we started filming. Six weeks dedicated to, to exclusively pumping and combi feeding is, is huge. And there are many women that will be watching this that can that can feel um, the dedication that you gave. And um, if you're struggling now and you can't handle pumping, uh, we, we completely understand it is tough, it's stressful, it's overwhelming. Um, and I think that Jessica will agree, and that's why her story is so important, that preparation is key. The more you can be prepared before the beginning of your journey and understand how connected pregnancy, birth, labor and breastfeeding are, the, the more chance you have of success. So, Jessica, tell me then, you gave birth in December and baby girl is here. She's with us and she is, you're, you're feeding successfully. Everyone's happy, right? Tell us more. So that wasn't the case in the beginning. So I had a very nice, peaceful birth at home. And right out, yeah. first thing my midwife did was check her mouth for ties. And she has a lip tie. And not only that, but it was like a very significant one. I don't, it was, there was a name she gave it and I don't remember what it was, but it was <laughs> yeah. very, and I was told right away that because of the tie that she'll probably, I'll have pain breastfeeding. And the recommendation was made to me to get it released right away. Mm -hmm. um, I had just had my older son who's five. He had a tongue tie and he had just had that released because he was mouth breathing at night. Yeah. And so I had been through that and he, a five-year-old's able to participate in a therapy before it. He was able to tell me how much pain he was in. Yeah. And so I was not exactly eager to do that with her because I had had that experience and I, I wanted her to have a very peaceful, quiet mm -hmm. beginning to the world. Like that was the decision that I had made for all of her. And they're, they're so small. And Dr. Robin does go into great detail um, it, on, on the topic of tongue ties, as well as um, alternatives, which are very, very rarely offered when, um, when we're told that we have tongue, tongue ties in the family. My son suffered as well. And the only option we're given, like you say, is to have um, the surgical revision. So yeah, and he decided not to. Yeah, that and that was that was my frustration. So right off the bat, I did have pain. So that was, and I had not gone through all the course material for the Thompson method at the time. So I I did what I had been taught with my last son at the hospital, like make a hamburger out of your boob and stuff in her mouth, kind of a thing. <laughs> and um, and you were I, I was experiencing a lot of pain. It, it was ex by the first end of the first day, I already had some blisters on my left side by the end of the second day they had gone to the right side as well i described it as feeling like she was sucking razor blades out of my nipples for the whole feed isn't it? it's really yeah so on the second day when my midwife came back to check on me uh, i asked her if she knew of a lactation consultant that i could talk to she's like well i think you need to probably do the revision but i'll give you some numbers 
And I actually called one of them to set up an appointment. I was hoping to get in, sit with somebody and maybe get some help. And on the phone, she actually told me that, well, because we know what the problem is, it's the lip tie, that there's no point to meet with me until I get it done. And then she gave me some numbers for some providers. And I was, I felt at that moment, very defeated that like, yeah, there's no alternative. Like I said, yeah. there's one route only, and you don't really get to decide if you want to breastfeeding, if you want to continue breastfeeding, then that's, that's the only option. Is that how you felt too? That Exactly. I, I felt like I was getting pushed into it and mm. I didn't want to do it. I, I wanted to succeed without having to do that. So that's when I had purchased the Thompson method. I hadn't gotten very far at the time that she was born. She came early, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back. I found the video from Dr. Robin talking about how you can be successful. And it was the first thing that I had had that somebody was telling me that I could be successful doing this. So I started to do the course material and I actually signed up for a breastfeeding rescue because of the new year holiday. It had, it was a week later. Mm. Uh, that I would have to wait, but I had dived into the course material and I started making changes right away. I, I changed and I let her latch on to me. I started to work on the facial symmetry mm. and I started to get relief. So it it started to make a difference. I did other things too. I got like silver caps to wear when I was not actually feeding. And, and do you think that if you had had the time to um, to go through the course material before baby was born, that maybe you would have done a few things differently? And yes, absolutely. Avoid. Yeah, I feel like that would have prevented a lot of it because I, I really do. I think it was the initial like just kind of going back to what I had learned before mm. um, that kind of started an injury that injured me. And then mm-hmm. I had to kind of get through that. But it, it I did start to see relief and mm and I had confidence to move through it and I did do I, the- I just want to confirm for viewers that the the relief started to come without the revision you hadn't you hadn't got the yeah. revision on. no no she, and to the symmetry. as she was <laughs> yeah and she still is all right yeah it's, absolutely yeah. yep so then you had your breastfeeding rescue with was it was it with Dr. Robin or the other it was person? with Sarah lovely okay yeah. I, know, I know Sarah very well so you had a you had a a, a very detailed meeting with Sarah who's got lots of experience with this topic as well so Sarah Jackson and tell me how you felt during that session of support let's call it yeah so it was great to talk to somebody I feel by that point I the crisis had mostly stopped so I was I was definitely in a much better space Mm -hmm. she made some recommendations for some other things I could try just to to get me to that next level Mm -hmm. and it was helpful to me uh you know, I felt like that was all I needed. It was really the course helped me more than, you know, got me where I needed to be. And by about more than you, I, days, I imagine more than you assumed without yeah. having face to face. Yeah, I think. absolutely. And a few days after I met, I was starting to have pain free feeds. And that was, it was so great after because I I mean I can't describe like I was literally in tears like my my poor husband Mm -hmm. had to watch me like latch her on and start crying and then Mm -hmm. it it was it was bad and I I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to make it through and I'm very grateful that I was yeah I mean I can absolutely relate I'm sure there are so many people um watching that can relate especially those that have um begun to or in the past implemented those key principles of the Thompson method when you do start to get that relief and you start thinking oh my goodness this is actually working shock shock and then your your light bulb moment hits doesn't it and you think wow I could have done this from the beginning or with Mm -hmm. the past with the previous breastfeeding journey and then everything slots into place and I guess you had a moment where you started trusting your maternal instincts a bit more, which you had already done by um, deciding not to get your um, baby's tie revised. And that's felt that's what felt right for you. So so tell me now you're seven weeks into your breastfeeding journey. Things have improved. Baby girl is obviously doing well. You look fantastic yourself. How is everything going? Are you enjoying breastfeeding still? Have you absolutely? You, yeah, she, she's. Goal? She's doing great. She's gained three pounds from her birth weight. So she's feeding well. Uh, I feel like there's no more pain. Um, it's, it's good. It's peaceful. And, and I feel like I'll be successful with her as well. Yes, for sure. And, and how would you feel that you would be right now? Let's imagine if you hadn't have 
had that rescue, found the program. Um, do you think you would have had to go down the tongue car revision route? Do you think that would have helped anyway? I, I don't, I honestly don't know if I feel like I would have quit before I would have gotten her revised. Like I, okay. I, 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 I was committed to not doing that, but I, if I couldn't have gotten rid of the pain, I don't know what I would have done. Like I, and you said that you had um, a little bit of time before baby girl made her surprise arrival a little bit early. You said that had the, you had the time to go through some of the prenatal um, modules. Did you find that was helpful somewhat, um, in, especially in seeing in a little bit of insight into what Dr. Robin's values are? Yeah, like I, I, I connected with the material. Like it, I felt, I think that's why it was easy to turn and look to that as please help me <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when I needed it because like I, I felt like it was like it felt gentle and soft and and I, I I definitely liked the material that I had watched I just hadn't made it far enough to set yeah, myself sure. up I mean it all happened very fast it was very quick and and actually a lot of women join after their baby has arrived and the course content content is enough to make those those adjustments those gentle adjustments and then they they have a turnaround themselves so it does it does go to show that we're all unique but I think that um for for those of us who are successful um for myself second time round having success from the beginning has made a difference because of having access to that breastfeeding knowledge during pregnancy so did you have anything that you wish that you had heard from any content you saw around the Thompson method do you do you have anything that you wish that someone had told you to, to just to jump that line to decide to purchase the program um if there's anyone sitting on the fence maybe what would you say to them I mean I would I would definitely recommend it I I feel like I honestly feel like a, a little angry that so many women are being given such like an unhelpful advice. Like I, I feel like my experience with lactation consultants in the hospital, it was, it felt frustrating. It felt like this isn't something that a baby can naturally do. Like I need to intervene and try and force this, that, and the mm -hmm. other thing. And I feel mm -hmm. like the Thompson method was just a lot more gentle. It was a lot more natural. It felt like to me that you can do this, that the baby is designed to be successful doing this, that it doesn't have to be painful. It doesn't have to be awful. It doesn't have to be hard. I mean, it, it is, it was hard, but I was able to move through that. Mm -hmm. And, and I appreciate having the community. I, I've, you know, the Facebook group and everything and seeing other women going through and being, you know, getting help. And I mean, I'm, I'm glad that it exists because again, I, I did not find success or support for for my instincts or what I wanted to do mm -hmm. from other people in my local community. And actually, I think the community, uh, the breastfeeding club, um, we often sort of forget that that's a secondary um, aspect to the online education. You you know, you you find it hard to navigate the resources. You reach out, they direct you, um, encouragement, support. It's unfounded, really, and it's it's a community, like you say, um, of like-minded people where there's no judgment. There's also no um, no conflicting, confusing, overwhelming um, thousands of comments of different advice being given. I think it's my safe space anyway, and I know that's the case for many. So you did mention um, a, a little while ago about um, how you were at hospital with one of your previous babies and they were not gaining as as their charts deemed was necessary before you were allowed to go home. Um, how did that feel? I mean, that must have been really, really difficult. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to go home and I felt like I, I was, I was not, it was very frustrating. <laughs> like, I wanted to get out of there. I wanted to go home. I wanted to be in an environment that was comfortable for me. And I felt like I was not succeeding and I didn't know what, what I was doing like wrong. It's like, I'm, I'm putting him here. He's just falling asleep. He's tired mm -hmm. that, you know, I had, now I know from the Thompson method again, it's like I had had a medicated birth. So he was probably sleepy just from medications. <laughs> and because of that, you know, that was the problem. It wasn't me. It wasn't that he was wrong or that he was like, if I had given him time to wake up, he'd have been fine. Like, so I feel like I was set up right from the beginning to kind of fail. And I didn't have the information that I needed to know at the time to know that this is okay. Like he's just sleepy right now because of the medication. That bit of reassurance with a little bit of knowledge yeah. behind it goes a long way in, in, in helping us be confident. And also I think it's just really, really sad 
that the system we are we are within giving birth to our precious babies makes us feel as you just said uh, unsuccessful that you were doing something wrong that there was something wrong with your baby all of these things are they negatively impact not only our personal breastfeeding journeys and our journeys as new mums but actually holistically our mental health as well it's Mm -hmm. it's a really big deal if you choose to breastfeed if that's something you choose to do and you have not initially wanted to start on formula that's your choice and then you feel discouraged so much and so many women are having to end their journeys before before they want to many of them before they've left left hospital and um, for some countries, it is very common to have a um, to have a weight limit, a, a big restriction around an expectation. And every baby is so unique. And I'm sure you went through the course materials uh, where you probably learned about um, different weights. And, and there's a whole mega post, isn't there, on growth and development um, for young babies in the breastfeeding club. So, I mean, for me, that was a huge, um, huge challenge with my son. Um, so I could completely understand why women feel that way because I felt that way myself so thank you for sharing that because I know you're not alone in that yep. in that really uh, mis- mis- unfortunate misunderstanding where they just do not trust you or your body in our hospitals unfortunately so if you were to um, if you were to look back now I hope that you are a little bit compassionate with yourself and um, now that you know a little bit more you know we, you can you can be kind to yourself and say that it wasn't anything wrong with you or your baby yeah <laughs> you just needed a little bit more time yep that's what I that's what I feel now good well wow. you're doing fantastic so I'm very very happy for you obviously congratulations is in order as well seven weeks in that's a huge milestone and did you have anything else that you wanted to share with any lovely mamas and any expecting mums or family members that may be watching uh, my advice would be go with your gut like if if listen to yourself and what you want to do and don't let anybody force you into a path. There are options out there and you can get the support that you need. So if, if your heart's telling you that I don't, I don't want to do whatever, like listen to it and, and you can find that support. It is, it exists. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Well, there you have it. That is the very lovely Jessica's story um, with a couple of topics touched upon there, tongue tie, um, slow weight gain and a couple of other other issues that we experience, which is just not being able to trust ourselves um, with lack of and fear. Um, from other sometimes professionals other members of family other communities so I hope that you have found that very helpful and if you have any questions please do reach out to us whether it's here on the platform or in one of our social media groups Um, and do remember to join our free Facebook community as well and if you'd like to learn more about the online program do click the link below thank you for watching see you soon